approximately seven, six to seven hours of raw footage involving a girl giving a donkey a lap dance, horses, individuals at a graduation party, girls dancing and and ripping off each other's clothes and for a, a small online college. <laughs> Purpose of education. Of course, there are. Uh, sharp differences on, on this matter. In Manhattan. In New York City, okay? Chomsky University. Rubbing each other down with oils and and food of like whipped cream and um, like uh, chocolate sauce and I think even tartar sauce and you know condiments that aren't even sexy like mustards and and pickle whip. And these individuals were doing all of the typical things that individuals of that age do. Getting really drunk, we were dancing, everyone was kissing everybody, girl on girl, guy on guy, guy on guy on girl on girl on guy. Fornication. There was girls kissing girls, guys kissing guys, kissing girls, blowjobs, sodomy. Intoxication. How many lines of coke? Flagellation. And like weird stuff like that I've never even heard of. People use beluga caviar as lubrication. Uh, dildos made out of the tusks of an elephant. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what the other Asians may be, but... People just running around naked, screaming in the backyard. They were doing them all. We had a, a greased up watermelon in the pool. Everyone just trying to grab and sink their teeth. So at the end of the day... There was tons of fucking drugs. This is a uh, forgotten variety stuff. There was, there was marijuana, there was cocaine, there was H. I see this shit five times a day, even before my breakfast. There was shrooms, there was a fucking mattress filled with weed. So this is nothing that would draw my attention. It was crazy. However... It was, it was a great party. You should have came. We would have loved to have had you. Well, you came, right? You're a very good looking guy. It would have been great to have you there. I love, I love your eyes. You could just, you get lost in them. And I'm sure a lot of the girls, that girl, she'd probably have sex with you on stage in front of a bunch of people. And, um, you know, I'd like to watch. I'd like, I'd like backstage passes to that show. I remember that day. I, I I suppose the stars were bright up above. The best of us, the most professional among us, we still don't know what to make of it. Heads or tails. Wait, Shout out wait we up. have an announcement. And we were about to call you. I got to tell you, we weren't trying to pull any funny stuff, but we just didn't know what we had. I hope and I pray. 20 years ago when I got involved, we got that Blair Witch craziness, which is, you know, the fake found footage, and we've had it now with paranormal, you know, activity, and... My dad ordered us a limo. Yeah, they're always about to call. So tomorrow night, if you want to come with us to the city... Let, let, let's go back to the tape. To keep your precious love... You're welcome. Get the fuck out! <laughs> Is it, no one's ever seen something like this before. So before the night, hold me again with all of your mind. Because right now, this thing has the potential to really ruin your life. In the still of the night. We love you! All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Can you all shut up, you motherfuckers? What? <laughs> I didn't ask for the tape. So the, the tape was sent to me. I have to admit. Cool, you like? Uh, yeah, um, I'd like to learn how to sing like that. You are so Beautiful. stunning in that dress. And if you would just do me the honor. I need to know that you haven't sold or tried to sell that tape to anybody else. 
It has been done to death, and no. Who wants to see another one of those? Not me, not anybody I know who I'm talking to. Can you tell me that? Um, if you look at your, at your email and, and pull it up right there on that screen. I'm talking. Of clicking on the. Uh... I've been with you for four fucking years. No, I have not. I have not. I got a link right there on the subject line. I love you, dude. <laughs> You just click that, it's gonna take you to a page, a, a YouTube page. To be honest, I was about to report it, but when you get so many tapes from filmmakers trying to do a Blair Witch, oh, oh yeah, I'm special. You can't report ever, you know, fake. <laughs> I know you look like a black prince, but I still fucking love your ass, all right? 22 seconds, just watch that. I can't join you because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm shooting and I have Shut a up. video. I got a link right there on the subject line. <laughs> I swear. I like you just click that, it's gonna take you to a page, a, a YouTube page. <laughs> the biggest movie ever made was Paranormal Activity. <laughs> And it's a fake faux footage, found footage thing. I'm not enjoying it. Rockstar! Yeah, Rockstar! Yeah, Rockstar! Yeah, Rockstar! Yeah, Rockstar! Yeah, Rockstar! Yeah, Rockstar! It's a genre unto itself. 22 seconds, and it'll give you the answer right, you're looking for right now. I have it right here. Alright, pull it right up. Someone thought that they would videotape this party. Could be the next Jersey Shore. <laughs> Bunch of 21 year olds thought that their life was so interesting. Did the right thing. Yeah. Went to school, go to college, you meet new people. It's an experience. I had a hell of an experience. Would have made for great TV. One of the college experiences. You go to the parties, you start to drink. Fuck your professors, you get an A. Something out of a movie. It sure felt like it could have been like some kind of reality show or like a crazy party scene from a movie. Future! Fuck reality! Yeah. So let's just stay friendly here because. Where's he been when he's been like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that? Clearly he's been with me. I got a link right there on the subject line. So you're just being fucking ignorant. I don't know. I, I don't know who sent it to me, and I say that with the God's honest truth. Yeah. Think of this, all, um, Special Agent. Here, here's the angle. Being psychopath. And you just click that, and it's going to take you to a page. You fucked every single guy in this room. Okay. But someone sent it to me with the hope that I would be able to exploit it into the distribution media, whether it's MTV. Did you make any copies? I'm gonna be the average brother with soul. Do you really think you can seriously take you seriously in a relationship? Uh, YouTube page. I'm gonna be a worldwide oh, international. Oh. Let, let's look at the facts. I have uh, entered into preliminary negotiations for the material. I'm gonna be one, one. Do you think he's gonna put a ring on that finger? 22 seconds, just watch that. Where's he been when he's been like, oh, I'm in the room, I'm on the phone, or whatever bullshit, dumb excuse you You know what? Obviously, he's just fucking a slut. <laughs> this actually may be what Hollywood has fictionalized for so long, the true found footage of the last hours of a group of people who the audience will connect with on a sympathetic level because this was their last hours alive ever filmed. I mean, it's, it's profound, yet it will reach the common man who will understand the gravity of this kind of footage, this artistic weight, if you will. So, right now. I have it right here. All right, pull it right now. You know, and that's all you'll ever be. You have to take Because you're boring! Get, get back to me after, after you click it and watch it. On a... I guess I digress. I just want to tell you that it's in my interest to find out what's going on because this would be historic if this was actual found footage of a legitimate nature. He thinks of me when he's fucking you. Yeah, I think he'll be quite entertained by it. And let's touch base soon because I'd like to know where I stand in all this because my reputation's at stake. I will do that. Okay, I'll wait right here.
I'm sure by now you know that the footage you found is real. Fuck you! Correct? The big story in Action News is the multi-alarm fire that turned a $5 million, 22,000 square foot mansion into charred embers. Yes, this is uh, Neil Van Orten on Scotts Yale reporting for the BBC. Early preliminary reports have 18 um, recently graduated students from Chongzhou University found at the uh, site of a graduation party the uh, morning uh, after uh, apparently a, the revelry began. Uh, the 18 bodies were found um, extremely in an extremely uh, degraded state, uh, beyond recognition, burned beyond recognition. Uh, this inferno lasted um, approximately three and a half hours before firefighters had it under control. It was a six alarm fire. Apparently, one of the survivors of the grad party, inferno as it's being called, well, survived the fire only to have lost his life um, concurrently by um, suicide leaping off of a Manhattan skyscraper in the early morning hours following um, the soiree. A memorial for the 18 families of the grad party, uh, of those lost in the grad party, uh, Inferno has been held. Uh, the 18 bodies were found um, extremely in an extremely uh, degraded state, uh, beyond recognition, burned beyond recognition. Uh, this inferno lasted um, approximately three and a half hours before firefighters has had it under control. It was a six alarm fire. Apparently one of the survivors of the grad party, Inferno as it's being called, well, survived the fire only to have lost his life um, concurrently by um, suicide leaping off of a Manhattan skyscraper in the early morning hours following um, the soiree. A memorial for the 18 families of the grad party, uh, of those lost in the grad party, uh, Inferno has been held. Current owner Gerald Badoff was trying to sell the French Chateau. So here's what I got to understand. After watching the tape and seeing the deaths and it all putting it together I realized I was in too deep it's about to call you boys I made no you go to the parties you start to drink fuck your professors you get an A Fuck around campus, you get pregnant. You don't know who the father is. <laughs> is that what we're sending off to college to do? If I was trying to hide this, I would not try to shop it. Uh, apparently, the networks are going to break up the footage into a mini-series of a reality television program. It, uh, reportedly, NBC, Comcast, Universal has announced that all profits will be given to the family. Are you telling me that you weren't aware that there were over 400 miniature cameras recording all of the events of that evening? What are you, what are you talking about? 400? Where, where were the cameras? I haven't seen any cameras. On day 33, the, uh, uh, FedEx was sent to uh, the Creative Artists Agency, a Hollywood uh, agency, which was sent footage um, from an anonymous source, apparently, uh, which revealed uh, footage of the last hours of the graduates. So when I get tapes like that, um, if I called the cops every time, I'd be calling the cops every day. I don't know about why am I so like out of the loop? When we're graduating from college, no matter how educated we are, what's an education? We still happen to be a bunch of idiots. I'm going to be a worldwide oh, international. Oh. In the still of the night, I held 
Held you tight How I love Love you so I promise I'll never Let you go In the still of the night Yes, this is Brandon McCarthy of the British News Network recording, uh, reporting from uh, the great city of Manhattan, New York City, New York. June the 1st, apparently uh, the Westchester coroner has confirmed now that 18, in fact, are dead. 18 bodies have been found at the tragic inferno of the graduation party, as the national media has called it. It seems as though... Oh, yeah, the bodies were found, and, and it was identi uh, identified, dental records, correlated, you know, the whole damn, you know, shig shabango. I mean, turns out one of these kids, uh, one of the, it was one of the girls, she was the daughter of a South Carolina senator. I can't believe you showed up here. Stop. That's honestly disgusting. Uh, on June the 2nd here, the day after the tragedy, we have now um, discovered through MSNBC that the South Carolina senator, uh, the incumbent of three terms Republican senator, actually has a daughter who is actually amongst the dead, tragically elevating this to a, a, a very high level. The Westchester Fire Chief um, has actually now um, ruled that this is a suspected arson in an investigation challenge suit. We should also mention this house and the property were used in several movies over the years, including a thriller called Safe, which comes out later this month. A bunch of 21 year olds thought that their life was so interesting. Someone thought that they would videotape this party. On the 2nd of um, August, the FBI has discovered nine hours of footage. They've actually themselves now, through uh, court order, have, achieved, have, have, have acquired all of the footage to the CAA. And in a way, to control, I believe, the, the, the damage here, uh, to, uh, reportedly NBC, Comcast, Universal has announced that all profits will be given to the family. Uh, apparently, the NBC has premiered the show to groundbreaking, earth-shattering uh, ratings. You guys really want me to talk? Yeah, yes, go. <laughs> this is super juvenile, guys. Were we, like, in the fifth grade? I don't think any of you really wants to hear what I have to say. You know what I'm going to say anyway, right? <sighs> college is basically just a microcosm of life, right? <laughs> so you go to college, you fuck professors, you get A's in your classes, you don't use your degree. Do you know what? None of that fucking matters. I'm going to sip fine fucking wines and live in Italy with rich men, and none of it's going to fucking matter. <laughs> I don't care. Very, very high. Media frenzy has gone in earnest. Uh, it, it seems that these individuals who had absolutely no fame during their lives have discovered fame um, posthumously due to these uh, incredible um, scenes of very ordinary uh, activities rendered meaningful by their proximity to their death. I do have my moments with you guys. Some of you are like, and others I don't. But that's fine, because you will meet people in life that you do not like. And I just want to reminisce back on when Angie had to get her stomach pumped out at the hospital. <laughs> really, really drunk. <laughs> and I stayed there the entire night, missed my test. But you know, that's like a good friend of mine. So I felt like friends about that. I'm sorry. It's a love it. And that's the college life. Get drunk in your face, <laughs> <laughs> I had a hell of an experience. Oh! One of 
one of the college experiences. It's like Animal House without all the togas. Special shout out to all the girls who helped me on my oral reports. <laughs> <laughs> The New York media has covered this tragedy quite extensively. However, because of the high-profile nature of the South Carolina Senator's daughter, it looks as though the national media may pick up the story. In addition to that, the Federal Bureau of Investigation has been ordered to, uh, to undertake an investigation as to whether this was arson, suicide, homicide, or an accident. The fire marshal says he could have a cause of the fire as early as tomorrow. The following audiovisual exhibits are pertaining to a special investigation. Now, the actual audio of the call 911 has just been released. Yeah. Yeah, have, 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 you, uh, have, you, have you seen it, sir? What do you think? Ain't that a game changer? I mean, ain't that a game changer? Can you believe them Them boys and girls went down like that? They all, they all died. They died burned to burned alive. They were, that's how they died. How many were there? Well, it was about 18, and that wasn't all of them. Now, a couple people actually left the party. It turns out a couple of them had left the party for unrelated reasons. And My understanding is that you also believe that one of the participants may be alive. Is that true? That is new information we just received. Basically, after watching some of this footage, we found out that one of the individuals was rejected from a marriage proposal and humiliated by the fact that this woman, who he had asked to marry, who accepted it, then rejected it. Suffice it to say that there were very small cameras present throughout the home. Um, we'd like to think that they caught most of the pertinent uh, events of that evening. Mother. Um, why were there? Why were there cameras? Love triangle to a, uh, a, a you know a marriage proposal that's accepted then rejected by uh, in, a, in a betrayal and cheating between many different couples and and and, and, a, and a baby lost in, in, in an abortion and 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 a, a pregnancy that happens unexpectedly and a mushroom trip. <laughs> A uh, mushroom chip where a woman talks to her future self, uh, it's com it's out there, man. What, it was just a party, I mean, it wasn't... Why, why, the, why the cameras? Where the hell's my shirt? <laughs> it seems as though... Oh, yeah, the bodies were found, and, and it was identi uh, identified, dental records, correlated, you know, the whole damn, you know, shiggy shebang. I mean, I get so drunk that I can't even remember what I, what I did last night. Why? Because I don't want to face reality. Turns out that one of those, uh, one of the, one of the kids that died, one of these kids, uh, one of the, it was one of the girls, uh, this is a, Daddy, who's a, she was the daughter of a South Carolina senator, actually. Well, well I, I, no, I believe, I'm afraid he is Republican, but, sir, the, the thing you have to okay. it, it is too bad, it is too bad, but. He's a very powerful man, and he's getting some uh, federal investigation involved. What, he, what he's doing, and it's good for the drama, is the fact that we'll be following this in a parallel sense to, 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 to all these other, you know, kind of retrospective events is that you have to understand that this is footage, nine hours of footage we have of these people's last few hours on Earth. Okay, that, that, that's just compelling television right there in and of itself. But it then it, it, really it, 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 it makes it. Recall, I cannot recall any reality show, so called reality show, with death as a uh, prominent feature. This is a game changer. This is a, a, a TV history kind of thing. But I'll tell you this, we got nine hours of it. it just in that footage of, of their death. It ain't just there. It's, it's this fire that killed them, that, that robbed them of this adulthood, of this life that they could have like, had. It's it fascinating. Like, Father, it is like nothing that has ever been on TV. If you really think about this, if you really think about this, 
this is fascinating because we don't even know. It could have been a suicide pact. It could have been a murder. It could have been a, a, a like a cult thing. It could have been an accident. It could have been awesome. It's like, what happened? We don't even know what happened. So we're like in the middle of the story. The story ain't just in that footage of, of their death. It ain't just there. It's it's this fire that killed them, that, that robbed them of this adulthood, of this life they could have had. It's fascinating. Father, it is like nothing that has ever been on TV. It's bold. It's big. It's bold and big. You know what I'm saying? I can see this going bold and big into the moon. You know, these kids will be stars. These will, they'll be major stars. They'll be dead stars. They'll be dead, but they'll be stars, you know? Those, uh, with all those uh, young people involved, uh, there are so many stories that this could even be a sequel. The, the, it's a possibility because, you know, um, of course, we'd have to have a different cast because, you know, they're dead and all that. <laughs>